A 7 centimeter tall object is placed 12 centimeters in front of a converging lens with a focal length of 6 centimeters. Where is the image located? So feel free to pause the video if you want to try this problem. Now hopefully you saw my other video on spherical mirrors, which I go over how to use the mirror equation and also the ray diagrams for those problems as well. Hopefully you saw that video before watching this one. But let's jump right into it. So the height of the object is 7 centimeters, so that's HO. The object is placed 12 centimeters in front of the converging lens. So DO, the distance of the object from the lens, that's 12 centimeters. And the focal length of the converging lens is 6 centimeters. The focal length is positive for a converging lens, but it's a negative for a divergent lens. So we need to determine where the image is located. So we need to calculate DI, the distance between the image and the lens. So let's use the thin lens equation to accomplish that. So 1 over F is equal to 1 over DO plus 1 over DI. Now, in this example, the focal length is 6 centimeters, DO is 12, and DI, we don't know what that is. We're trying to find out. So 6 and 12, they both go into 12. So I'm going to multiply everything by 12 di to get rid of all fractions. So 12 di divided by 6 is 2 di. 12 di divided by 12, that's 1 di. And 12 di divided by di is simply 12. Now let's subtract both sides by 1 di. On the right, they cancel. On the left, we have 2di minus 1di, which is 1di, and that's equal to 12. So di is 12 centimeters. Now, do we have a real or a virtual image? What would you say? Now, because di is equal to a positive number, the image is real. If di was equal to a negative number, the image would be virtual. So we have a real image. Now what is the magnification of the image? The magnification is HI divided by HO. It's also equal to negative DI divided by DO. So DI is positive 12, DO is 12 as well. So negative 12 divided by 12 is negative 1. Now, is the image upright or inverted? Because the magnification is negative, the image is inverted. If the magnification was positive, the image would be upright. It would be in the same direction as the object. So if the object is placed going up, the image will also be going up. Now, is the image enlarged or reduced? If the absolute value of the image, if it's greater than 1, it's enlarged. If the absolute value of m is less than 1, it's reduced. However, in this example, the absolute value of m is equal to 1. So it's neither enlarged or reduced. It's the same size. Now, to calculate the height of the image, we can use this formula. So if you rearrange it by multiplying both sides by HO, the height of the image is equal to the magnification times the height of the object. So the magnification is negative 1. The height of the object is 7 centimeters. So the height of the image will be negative 7 centimeters. So the object, which has a positive height, is facing upward. The image, which has a negative height, is inverted, is facing downward. Now what about part G? What is the power of the lens in diopters? The power is 1 divided by the focal length. So in this example, the focal length is 6 centimeters. But we need to get the unit in meters, because diopters is meters to the minus 1. And so we got to divide 6 centimeters by 100. So 6 centimeters is 0 0.06 meters. And 1 divided by 0 0.06 is 
diopters or meters to the minus one. So that's the power of the lens. Now let's draw a ray diagram that illustrates this particular problem. So first let's start with the convergent lens, which looks something like that. So the x-axis is the principal axis. And let's say this is the focal length. Let's make it equidistant on both sides. And so the object is going to be twice the focal length. It's at 12 centimeters, and the focal length is at 6 centimeters. So this is the focal point. The focal length is the distance between the center of the lens and the focal point. And this is the distance of the object, and this is the height of the object. So let's draw the first ray from the object to the center of the lens. And then it's going to bend towards the focal point. Now we can draw another ray from the object to the focal point to the lens. And so the image should be somewhere in this region. If you want to, you can draw another line from the object through the center to the image. So as you can see, the height of the object and the image are approximately the same, but this one is inverted, so it's negative 7. And this is di. di is positive for a lens if the image is on the opposite side of the object. If it's on the same side, then di is going to be negative and you have a virtual image as opposed to a real image. And so that's it for this problem. Number two. A 5 centimeter tall object is placed 8 centimeters in front of a divergent lens with a focal length of 5 centimeters. Where is the image located? So we have the height of the object, it's 5 centimeters. DO is 8 centimeters. And the focal length is 5 centimeters. But since we're dealing with a divergent lens, we're going to use negative 5 centimeters. So let's calculate DI. So let's use the thin lens equation. So f is negative 5. DO is 5. Actually, no, DO is 8. Let's see what DI is going to be. Now, 5 times 8 is 40. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 40 DI. So 40 DI divided by negative 5, that's equal to negative 8 DI. And 40 di divided by 8 is positive 5 di. And 40 di divided by di, that's going to be 40. So let's subtract both sides by 5 di. And so negative 8 minus 5 is negative 13. So negative 13 di is equal to 40. And now let's divide by negative 13. So 40 divided by negative 13 that's negative 3.077. And so that's where the image is located. Now, do we have a real or a virtual image? Because di is negative, we have a virtual image. A diverging lens always produces a virtual image. Now, let's calculate the magnification. It's negative di divided by do. So di is negative 3.077, and do is 8. So the magnification is positive 0.3846. Now, because the magnification is positive, the image will be upright. However, the magnification is less than 1, so the image is reduced in size. So now let's calculate the height of the image. So the height of the image is going to be the magnification times the height of the object. So it's 0.3846 times a height of 5. And so the height of the image is 1.923 centimeters. So as you can see, it's less than the height of the object. So the image is reduced in size. 
Now let's draw a picture that illustrates this particular problem. First, let's draw a divergent lens. Here's the principal axis. And let's say this is the focal point and the object is placed beyond the focal point. So the first ray we're going to draw from the object to the center of the lens. And then it's going to bend in the direction of the uh, divergent lens. The second ray we're going to draw from the object through the center. And notice that the image appears to converge here. And notice that we have a dashed line in this area. So that tells us that the image is virtual. Plus, the image is on the same side as the object, which for a lens, that indicates that DI is negative. On the opposite side, DI is positive, which would produce a real image on the right. But on the left, it's a virtual image. And we can see that the image is upright. It's facing upward in the same direction as the object. But notice that it's reduced in size. It's smaller in height. It's less than the height of the object. And so in this example, we have a reduced upright virtual image.